Hi there folks, my name's Novawing24 and welcome to a little bit of a tutorial uh, today. So uh, uh, as you would have seen in the last couple of videos, um, I uh, was uh, up and about on doing some carrier stuff. So uh, you would have seen the video including uh, flying stations, uh, fantastic little wyvern there, uh, and as well you would have seen me uh, getting my uh, carrier deck qualifications using uh, Dino Carantanos and I'm probably got his name wrong again but you know all with respect to the man the man did an amazing job on the Boeing T45C with uh, my special little custom paint job on it um, so uh, this is just going to be a quick little guide today on how to actually get those carriers installed in your copy of FSX so you can do this yourself at home and in multiplayer so guys, um, the first step's going to be we need a amazing little piece of software called AI Carriers 2. Uh, now this is a piece of freeware. Uh, now we'll quickly jump over to uh, simviation.com here. Uh, it is available at various other places around the internet, folks, but it's just simviation. I find the easiest one to grab. Uh, so we're going to quickly jump in. So we're going to go jump into the main menu. Alright, now up on here we're going to search for AI, you can see I did a bit of prep work for this, AI Carriers 2, that's what we're going to search for today. Uh, now, when it pops up, you want the second entry here, so this is the one you want. Um, to be honest, actually, the third one is the exact same file as well, folks, um, it's exactly the same, there's no real difference. Um, I just grab this one because it's got most downloads, but anyway. Um, so, uh, look, uh, all props uh, and special thanks to uh, the gentleman who created uh, this beautiful little piece of um, scripting for us. Uh, so, Lamont Clark, uh, thank you very much for this. Um, it was released back in 2007, but still works absolutely beautifully. Um, so, this is the first thing that you're going to need to grab, folks. You're going to need to grab this AI Carriers too. Um, now, something else which I would highly recommend uh, getting as well. Now, this is available on Symbiation's site. Uh, let's see if we can find it. HD. Let's try that. Uh, nope. Okay. Right. I know it's on here somewhere, folks, but just for the ease of the video here, we're going to jump over to this other wonderful site. There's a couple of my sites I was going to mention later, but it looks like we're going to mention them earlier on now. Um, so jump over to FS6 Carrier Ops, uh, jump down into their session add-ons and into boats. Uh, yeah, I know technically it's a ship, but yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Um, okay, they've got a great range of different ship models and carrier models to put in here, but this is the one that I highly recommend you get. So this is the one that you uh, saw me landing on and doing my uh, debt qualification trials on. So yeah, definitely, definitely grab this one, folks. All right, so uh, let's assume for a moment that we've downloaded these files. Uh, so we're going to jump down to here. To here's something I prepared earlier. Uh -huh. uh, all right, cool, it's cool. So AI carriers to uh, will download as this uh, little zip file here. Uh, now, once you extract it, you will end up. You'll see. Oh, let's just yeah, actually, you know what? Let's just do it. Uh, do 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 do. Ah, la, 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 la. You can see I've actually got it already installed, but yeah, we'll show it to you here. Alright, so AI Carriers 2 will download. Uh, yeah, don't ask me why the redundancy are folding there, I don't know. Um, this file you will need later on, but let's go back in here for now. Uh, okay, so AI Carriers 2, and simply, folks, uh, run the setup exe. Um, if you desperately need to, there is a manual install in there of everything you need, but honestly, you should not need it. You really shouldn't. Um, I've done multiple uninstall reinstalls of FSX and I've always done it just using the EXE. I never had a problem. But yeah, it's all there for you. And as always, folks, don't forget to read the readme file. Um, there's uh, never been a file that says readme when you shouldn't read it. But yeah, yeah. anyway. Um, all right, so this uh, 6869 config file. Now, this comes very important uh, when you extract this one here. So this is the uh, add-on. So what this does is that this gives, uh, adds in some extra models. So the, the initial AI carriers to just simply adds in the FSX carrier model that's already built into the game. That's 
pretty much what it does. Um, it allows you to place and custom config, and we'll go through the config in a minute here. Um, it allows you to place and pretty much any ship that's in your FSX directory. But this is the big one. This is the awesome one. Um, so Nimbus Lake version two. Now this will give you these folders. So uh, as usual, you copy these. Um, these can all be just be copied directly into your top uh, top level FSX directory, uh, no problem at all. Uh, it gives you some really cool things. So what it does is it adds some uh, steam effects uh, into the carriers to make them a bit look cooler. Um, it adds some aircraft parked on the deck. Um, it also gives you all these beautiful models for the USS Nimitz and the USS, USS Eisenhower. Um, Essentially, uh, your one and two uh, clear decks, um, so probably best for multiplayer those ones, uh, and these other are various different configurations as well. Um, what it also includes is a helo, the plane guard, so you can do a good do a formation setup, and you actually see it sort of set up there, so that's pretty cool as well. Uh, and the USNS P uh, Pat Patonks River, Patonks River, uh, yeah, something like that. Anyway, um, it's a underway replenishment ship, so you can. Actually do some so for all those um, helicopter pilots out there, you can do some vertical replenishment of uh, various ships and stuff like that. So a lot of fun gives a bit more of a depth to some of the things that we can do as well in uh, in all the FSX and all the elements and multipliers there as well. Um, it includes a couple of screenshots showing what the different deck configurations launch uh, launch look like and stuff like that as well. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. This add-on. Absolutely, definitely recommend it. It's got a, um, a lot better um, use of the uh, visual, the instrument, uh, visual instrument, blah, of the mirrored landing, the mirrored and lit, uh, illuminated landing system. Um, so yeah, you're really going to need this if you want to do some proper uh, carrier ops. So hmm, that would be the first suggestion, guys. All right. So once all that's uh, installed, um, what you'll do is you will then go to Oh, that's right, I was going to go through the config file, didn't I? Yep, okay. So, once your AI carrier is installed, uh, you'll end up with um, your basic config file here, and then you'll have this conf.d. And conf.d basically gives you the ability to customize and add in extra stuff. So this is where you copy and paste the 6869 config file, where, which was in the AI carrier. So it's also in the Ike pack as well, guys. So either way, it is going to be there. Um, this is the main one that I then suggest you if you want to do any editing and stuff like that. This is where you add it in. So, let's jump into this one. So, basic syntax is you put your formation dot next next available number. Um, I have got quite a few in here, folks. Uh, I think I'm up to fifty something. I think actually. Uh, yep, uh, I'm up to fifty. There you go. So quite cool. Um, all right. Next basic syntax is um, title. So this is the model. So this is the this is the title that as you want to see it. Okay, and then you just list unit. So unit dot zero is the center, which is the center of the formation. Um, so you then put the f model that you want in there. So this is from you grab this from the folder. Actually, we might uh, we might show you this actually. Let's uh, let's add something random in, shall we? Uh, all right, let's go to my FSX do, 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 do. sim objects boats because we don't want to do that. So do 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 do. do. La, 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 la. What do we want to add here, folks? Um, let's add a super tanker. Just something different. Let's add a super tanker. Why not? Mm, maybe? Maybe not? Yep, nope. Super tanker. Okay. So, this top level folder here. Okay, so two ways of doing this. So the first one is the top level folder, the second one is the sub, the sub, the sub level folder. Okay, so in the case of this one, when it's like a basic, um, where did I just had it? Super tanker, super tanker, super tanker. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? It was, it was like right there. I'm sure there's people sharing at the screen right now, but anyway. Uh, super tanker, super tanker, super tanker. No, no this doesn't look like a one. So uh, yeah, there it is. Nope. So I got small. Uh, yep. Okay. I've officially lost it. Mm, ah, there we are. 
Okay. So, alright. So what we do is we want to use this one. So this one, because it doesn't have any sort of subversions of it, it's just got the main one. So what we do, uh, best way to do this is make sure you get this right, folks, is just do the, click on it sort of a second time and it sort of opens up this. Copy it. Okay. And then we'll switch over to this one. We'll go to the end. All right. So we want uh, formation dot five one because the next one in the sequence. Uh, title equals video test tanker. Yeah. All right. So unit dot zero equals and then we paste it. Okay. So that'll grab that model and put it in there for us. Now, I will show you something a little bit different here. So as you can see, we saw when we first had a look at that uh, AI, the expansion for the Nimitz. Okay. So your Nimitz, there's various different versions of it. So if we jump into the USS Nimitz folder here, we can see that there are actually different model variations. So again, just like how your config files like you know, for FSX aircraft, like reference the texture dot whatever your texture is. Okay, models work exactly the same way. So for the syntax for this one, if we wanted to add, play, add another custom entry for this one, and want to use that model, then we do CBN69 underscore Devon. Okay, same kind of basic deal. But as we've only got one, it doesn't matter. All right, so that's pretty much all there is to it to uh, setting up your AI carriers too, folks. So um, AI carriers two in, uh, includes uh, basically allows you to move the ships and what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to uh, FSX in just a moment and we'll see all this get spawned so uh, bear with us while we now quickly oh, I'm just going to save that config file alright now let's uh, oh yeah so before we get going folks as I said um, so we've got the so FSX uh, carrierops.com. Um, highly recommend that site as well. And um, the Royal French Navy. Um, so these guys um, do some really great and really cool, nifty little creations here. Um, they've actually got uh, their own sort of carrier textures. So they've got the uh, French Navy's Charles de Gaulle carrier. They've got the Fourche and the Clemence um, in various versions as well. Um, you can get an Eton Dard uh, for. I haven't seen a Super Eton Dard though, so I don't know if that's available. Um, but this one is talked about a lot, and it's saying it also comes highly recommended by a variety of sites, including um, the guys over at FlyingStations.com. Uh, so yeah, that might be something worth pick up. So there you go. Cool. Um, actually, and one of the other really cool things to pick up with this one, guys, is the fact that the carrier gauge um, has a little uh, readme file in there, which actually gives you all the TACAN and all the um, frequencies for all these carriers, because um, most of the carrier models that are kicking around have some form of ILS and frequency built into them, so, uh, or TACAN, rather not ILS, but TACAN frequency built into them, so you can actually use an, an ILS uh, to help you fi a, a, find them, and B, land, so, hmm, yeah, definitely, definitely think about grabbing this one, guys. All right, so without further ado, let us jump into the old FSX, and we shall get started and sh see if our formation actually worked. All right, folks, so uh, FSX has loaded up, uh, so let us jump into... I uh, I might jump into I think I'll jump into my T45 again. I'm I'm quite fond of that T45. Yeah. Yeah, it helps that I did the paint job for it, but eh, eh, what ifs? Do 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 do. Okay, let's have a little look. See, uh, might be easiest to do this. Go Boeing. Yes, I have a lot of F18s. I know. Uh, a lot of these I have so I can see what other people are flying. But anyway, uh, okay. T forty five C Goldsworth Royal Australian Navy. Ha ha. Alright, there we go. Now, uh we're going to uh, just because I like how the weather looks. I know how the winds are. We'll go with that. Now we're gonna move this over just because uh I know this airport fairly well at the moment after doing the carrier ops there. So Papa Hotel Oscar Golf. Uh we're gonna go to there. 
let's just call it shot cut, you know, cut straight to the chase and let's go straight to the active runway. Okay, so let's spawn on the active. Uh, don't ever do that in multiplayer, folks. Don't ever, ever do that in multiplayer. Like, seriously, just don't, don't, just don't do it. Uh, now, to make it easier, easier on the eyes, let's do it on for daytime. Alright, okay, let's switch over and jump into that one now. Alrighty, so we're uh, we're all loaded in. Uh, just reset my camera view. Ah, that's better. Uh, all right, so we're all loaded in now. Couple of things before we get started, folks. Okay, so um, don't know if it's a bug or not. Uh, really don't know, but uh, something that you need to do. Uh, let's just bring up a menu bar for a second. Um, so in order for the AI code carriers to work well, well properly, especially if you're doing it in a multiplayer scenario, you need to jump into map view. Um, only, you only need to do it for a second, but you need to load all the nearby like nav points, waypoints, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, if you don't do this, um, you'll get an error message which basically says uh, no waypoints found cannot spawn AI carrier. Uh, which is something you, you don't want. Okay, uh, so let's go now. Shortcut by default is Shift J to bring up your carriers. Okay, so first of all, let's see if our uh, our new little entry actually took in. Let's have a look. Yeah, no, I didn't. Okay. Alright, well there's uh, things folks, uh, obviously I may have got that syntax wrong. I know it seems to work, because I got the Bonaventure and all the rest of it in when I did the test for this. Oh, hmm, odd. Anyway. Uh, Alright, so, uh, let's jump into, uh, we'll use the Nimitz, uh, so we'll use uh, 68 just down there. Alright, there we are. Uh, and we want Facility Waypoint. Okay, so, the one uh, that I into recently, so probably a good idea to do a bit of research before you do as well, so make sure you find a facility waypoint that's actually in the water. Hmm. Um, is Papa Lima Uniform Mike Bravo Plum. Uh, so we're going to spawn our carrier there. Uh, now, as I said, for using the information I had from the Royal French Navy site, I know that the tech end for this is 57 X-ray, or translated into uh, civilian terminology, uh, 112 decimal zero. So I'm going to tune my frequencies to that, and we'll get, once we take off, we'll get a tech end. Oh yeah, no, there we are, we've got the tech end notification already, so it's 21 miles, miles away, there you go, okay. Alright, so, we're lined up on the runway. Track IR working fine there, yep, cool. Alright, let's go. Rolls all the way forward and let's take off. Do, 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 do. Now, of course, if you don't uh, know the tack and frequency, or there is a couple of carriers and ships going around which don't have tack and frequencies, um, that waypoint that we spawned it at is a waypoint that is searchable in the GPS uh, in the aircraft, so you can actually spawn. Uh, so you can actually log a GPS course for yourself, so you can actually sort of check things out. Alright, so we want to turn over this way because that's where the tack end's sort of telling me to go. Throttle a little bit. Now, if I remember correctly, so we've got 19. Yep, so 19 miles. Yeah, 
it's, 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 the cool little thing about this Dino is, uh, is it does give you this little uh, viewpoint as well. So, hmm, there you go. Um, all right, so yeah, I think uh, yeah, not sure what happened with that. Uh, not adding. I will uh, have to investigate that and find out what happened there. Hmm. Anyway. But as you see, folks, um, the other thing is is that a lot of the uh, AI sort of ships are kicking around. I mean, there's uh, one. There's one for Ark Royal and Victorious uh, from FlyingStations.com. Uh, uh, there's a whole heap of really quite good ones uh, on the F as you saw on the FSX Carrier Ops. Uh, so they've got uh, mostly uh, American ships on there. Uh, and the Royal French Navy guys obviously mostly have the French ones. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's a lot of really good sort of uh, add-ons here to give you a bit of variety with your carrier carrier operations sort of um, perspective. So hmm, yeah, it's definitely something to it's something a little bit different, guys. And as I said, I I did I have sort of fielded a few questions lately uh, in the TeamSpeak that I frequent um, just regarding what uh, like how to set it up and how to do it and stuff like that and I thought you know what I was gonna do a quick little sort of tutorial video to help everybody out and so if you are interested in doing it you can do that so hmm. oh I think I'm getting an overspeed warning there let's bring that back a little bit all right so I'm uh, seven out from the carrier so I shouldn't be too far away I think we, yeah, we were going a bit fast there weren't we uh, so and here's a pie all right so da -da 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 -da. just a gratuitous shot of me uh, traveling by there tempted to do a roll right now but I won't <laughs> just a wing waggle there we are all right so, about three miles to go. So, I should be fairly close to it, I think. Oh, no, I think I may have shot past it. Let's have a look. Let's bring up that. Hmm, that's all good. Yes, I need to learn to my tack and navigation, I think, a bit better, I think. Just that around. Ah, there it is. Found it! Okay, alright, there we are. Found the carrier. Okay. So, this is a uh, uh, high res texture for the USS Nimitz, uh, which has uh, spawned here for us. Thank you. I'll do a quick, uh, quick flow flyby. I might reverse and break into the pattern for landing, I think. Alright. So, one of the cool things, as I said, if you are using a carrier that does have the TACAM frequencies enabled, uh, you will have your ILS sort of indicators and markers come up as well. Uh, so, let's uh, reverse our course. Head back up to carrier's base recovery. Oh, by the way, folks, when you um, spawn an AI carrier, um, by default, uh, its course will be uh, 350, just so you know. Um, by default, so there you go. Now, the other thing I did want to show you is I did want to show you how to make it move. So, if you once you spawn your uh, vessel or ships or whatever you want to spawn, press Shift J again, and then you give it up. So you can actually tell it to change direction, or you can tell it to move, or you can tell it to stop. So when you go full forward, it will now go ahead at 30 knots. All right, so let's uh, now we set that. Let's uh, drop into our brake. Lead off a bit of airspeed. Bit of altitude as well. So uh, I'm going to do uh, one, let's go ahead on to 180. You see us there, everything down. All right. And yes, there are some cool AI custom sound packs into this uh, HD carriers mod as well. Uh, all right, so we're uh, we're just past it, so we'll probably be a bit slow. All right, so now we're going to turn on our 180. Let's see if I can uh, get this right or balls it up. Now I'm coming in way 
too low, I think. Not the best landing, but we snagged the wire. That's the main thing. So there you go. All right, and we're down. There you go. All right, folks. So uh, thanks very much for uh, watching uh, this one today. Uh, as I said, um, quick little tutorial video on how to get yourself set up. Um, so just to be aware, when we are doing this, in, when you are doing this in multiplayer. Um, you can't, if you put the carrier down, other people can't see it. Um, it can only be seen by you. So everybody has to spawn the carrier. Everybody has to have the same carrier um, installed to be able to see it. You can have call it something different, that's fine, but you will have to have the same actual physical model. So but just bear, bear, yeah, bear that in mind when you are doing carrier ops. Um, that's tends to be why you don't usually see the carriers moving uh, during multiplayer sessions because you can't sync it all up at the same time. So. There you go. All right, folks. Well, uh, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you've uh, enjoyed and uh, got something out of this uh, little tutorial video uh, of uh, setting up AI Carriers 2 uh, onto your FSX computer and getting the most out of uh, your carrier and ops ex uh, carrier operational experience uh, during FSX. So. All right, folks. Uh, the links that I've mentioned in the uh, in the video today, I will be popping in uh, the in the comments down in the comments in the description down below. As always, folks. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.